What is going on, guys? Your boy is switch here, bringing you guys a Simo 4D. Whoop! This is not a Simo 4D. This is Photoshop, bro. And I'm actually gonna be showing you guys how to make a 2D background, something like this background right here. This is my last attempt of the tutorial. I thought I'd just show you guys what you would probably be seeing uh, in this tutorial. And uh, this is actually signature is made by Zeph or William. He's a freelance designer, 2D designer, uh, 2D logo designer. So if you want to go get your signature from him, he makes amazing signatures and logos. So you can go ahead and do that. His link in the description if you want to go download. I thought I'd give him a shout out because he made some free signatures on Wednesday. Uh, or whatever the hell this video goes, you probably don't care. But oh uh, yeah, let's go. I'm going to delete this. So we're going to make something like this. I'm going to go about how I did this. And I'm going to go ahead and take my signature. And I'm just going to go ahead and drag this in. And I'm going to go ahead and shrink this. Like so. Just so it fits in the background. It's a fit. It's a little bit too big. Shrink it a little bit more. Alright. So, uh, guys, if you want to, like, you know, you can obviously follow along with what I do, or you can just, you know, it's all about being creative with your 2D background design, but you can start off with the basics, like, I'm going to show you guys here. So, uh, first of all, you can see how I did that little split the color thing, um, to one had, one side had blue, one side had white. I'm going to show you guys how to do that. You can make a new layer, like so, uh, right-click clipping mask, and then that just, what the clipping mask does is clips the mask to whatever's on the bottom layer to it, which in this case is the signature. And I'm going to take my pen tool and press P on my keyboard, if you didn't know that's the pen tool, you know, quick whatever it's called like what shortcut there we go and if I were to just click on the outside and it's like kinda like make it like a little cool like a like a slanted line like dashing through the middle or splitting it the, the middle of the signature I'm like follow it around connect the points and I'm gonna go ahead and go right click fill path the word fill path uh, click on the color uh, you wanna click use drop down color and then oops I'm my dog barked and I'm gonna click on this little blue that I have here I'm gonna use this blue press ok uh, press ok again and then you can see that the blue actually, like, you know, shows up only in the render. If I didn't have the cl uh, the clipping mask selected, it wouldn't be, like, you know, it would be everywhere. But now it's, like, clipping mask on top of the render and the render only. So now what I'm going to do is click on the, uh, the clipping mask. I'm going to show you something like uh, I did in the other, you know, the final image kind of, sort of, whatever. And I'm going to click on the stroke. If you click on the stroke, you actually have this cool little black line splitting it also. Uh, you can do cool things with this, I'm pretty sure. I actually really just can't. It's basically a line between the, blo uh, the blue and the white. And you can do something like that. Or you can go ahead and press your, you know, you can add, you know, something to this, just only this side only. So I'm just going to go ahead and click pattern overlay. You can click your patterns. And I use a cool pattern or whatever, lower the opacity of the pattern. And it's just basically being creative with it. You know, it's all about 2D design. It's just being creative and uh, and stuff like that. So now I'm done with that. I'm going to actually make a new layer again. And I'm actually going to add some brush hits to my render. Oops, I don't know what the hell I just clicked on. My dog is barking again. I'm sorry if that's bugging you. That really doesn't happen. I try to, like, stop that from happening. My tutorials... Uh, if I press B on my keyboard, my brush, and you can actually use some preset of brushes, uh, or you know, it's called like you know, just basically having different brushes. Or you can use like Raiden's brush pack, type in like Raiden's brush pack in YouTube. You can get brush packs. I'm gonna use this one's Era's best. Uh, I don't know if I can, you know, I don't know if I can give you that. I don't know if I do, I do. But uh, actually, it has these these cool like little uh, you know, paint splatter hits or whatever. You know, you can use your favorite brush basically. And if I change the color to about uh, you know, like a nice black, and if I just basically hit you know, or take it and just tap uh, my click button once, tap my click button once, really. If I just, you know, hit the brush once, like so, and a couple random spots, like so, you can see what I did there. I just basically, like, you know, went on the outside and, like, clicked it. And uh, what you can actually do now is change your opacity and just mess around with that. And I make a nice little cool little, you know, grunge, you know, brushy hits or whatever. And uh, actually, what I'm going to do now is add a grunge. So if I go to my uh, 1.5K pack, uh, you can, you know, download this if you want. And if I go to my grunges, I'm going to use one of my favorite grunges, number 5, right here. And if I were to just drag this in, like so, and then just put this on top of the render, and uh, make sure you put it on clipping mask so it only clips to the render, uh, the signature. Keep saying render. And I'm actually not going to put it on overlay, because if you put it on overlay, it's like really weird. I don't know if you like that, but that's what you like. But I'm going to keep it on normal, so I can keep the color of my uh, other side, that blue, that, that nice blue that I had. And I'm going to lower my opacity to like 30-ish. And you can see what that did. They just basically like put the nice, like, uh... A nice grungy feel to it. You can see what that did. Like kind of like dulled the white out too a little bit. But uh, yeah, see what that did right there. Like so, you can put it higher if you want. Mess around with it. And also the little CC group that I have here. Uh, let me actually talk to you about that. It's actually just gradient map, curve, and color fill. My dog. Oh my god. And uh, actually a regular just black to gray to white with a grunge with like 40% opacity. And then I have my curves with like a nice little slanted S right here. And then I have a color fill, because you don't want to do too much. Too much. You don't want to do too much. Uh, this is basically a nice gray color fill with uh, 35 opacity, and that's my CC right there. 
and that's how you know it kind of looks a little bit better. So it's like a, it's like basically enhancing the color of the background. Uh, you can see how it looks all dull and stuff here, and kind of looks way better and all cool and stuff with that little CC. So there we go. I talked about the CC a little bit. It's cool. It's cool. And uh, so basically, I'm done with the text. You know, you can add some other cool stuff. Uh, you know, obviously, you're not going to be probably using a signature. You're probably going to be using a text or your own logo or something like that. So you can be creative with them. I'll show you some stuff that you can do with your pen tool. If you click on your pen tool and you like made like a cool little design with your pen tool or something, like uh, let's say if you like that, like uh, you want to have this uh, on the layer, like on a layer, so you can mess around with it. So you click on new layer, and if you go to your brushes, uh, I'm gonna change my, you know, reset my brushes. That's how you reset your brushes. And if I just clicked on this little thing, and I changed my, you know, size to two, my hardest to a hundred. And if I were to click on the pen tool again, so if I made this little squiggly line, a squiggly line, I'm actually gonna change the color also to this. And if I press right click, stroke path. And I clicked the tool, and I changed it to brush. And if I pressed OK, the uh, the the you know the pen tool path will actually you know you know what is it, like replace itself with the color of the color that you chose and the size of the brush. So you can actually see that there's a little blue squiggly line. So you can be creative with this. You know you can put this under your text if you're using a text, or uh, put this around your signature or whatever. It's just all about being creative. And then you know maybe some add some cool little like uh or like dots to it. I don't know if you want to like do something like that, but you know it's all about being creative. Uh, you know, something like that. You know, it's all about just what's in your mind right now, and you know, just go express yourself with your 2D background. So that's something about the little pencil you can do. Oh, you're gonna see that come in handy later on. So uh, now what I'm actually gonna do is just, you know, I'm actually gonna use this right here, and I'm gonna use a B. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna be using the font Typograph Pro, and I'm going to change the color to a nice white, like so. And I'm gonna uh, type in any text you wanna type in. I'm gonna type in Graphics Designer. I know I spelled it wrong in the final image. I thought I don't know if you guys checked that out. I spelled it wrong again here. I'm so cool. Oh my gosh, I can't type. Graphics design. There we go. So if I press, you know, check it up right there. I'm gonna do the same as I think I did to the signature. What time is it? Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and just put my little, you know, this little pen tool thing, and uh, fill the path again with the pen tool. Add that color to it. Delete the thing. Right click. Clipping mask. And I have that, like, uh, you know, the blue to thing again. So I'm actually going to add that pattern I had. Pattern. Boom. Boom. Lower the opacity. And then also, if you want to add that grunge that you added to the same, uh, you know, the same thing you did to this, you can, you can do that. Just go ahead and just drag that in. Put that there. Clipping mask. Lower the opacity. And uh, there we go. You can have something like that. So uh, also, what you saw, like I told you about, I'm, you know, use that little pencil trick. If I made a new layer, and uh, you can do you can many things, like it's all about what you can do. But I, I thought uh, thought something was cool that Dimitri does as 2D backgrounds. He does this like cool little box thing. So like if I you know click shift, if I hold shift while I use my pen tool, make straight lines and like short straight lines. So if I clicked here and like clicked here and did something like that, and then did something like this, oh, that's too small. Boom, boom, boom. And I have something like that. You see what that like? It looks really cool like that. And you can do that stroke path thing that I talk about, so you can make the little lines show. Uh, I'm actually gonna do that now. Pen tool. I mean brush. Change the size to two. Um, use that color. Press P on your keyboard. Stroke and brush. And then if I delete it, there it is, like so. And uh, you know it can be also really cool if you like you know make a new layer. And uh, if I went like this, if I took a brush, I'm just gonna show you something I just thought about just now. Change the hardness of it. Change it to like a nice cool white. And like kind of one like this to it. Would this work? Press this. Soft light. Kind of like lower the opacity. So kind of what I try to do there was like have the uh, soft light doesn't work, obviously. You know. And I have to put it on normal. Kind of like wanted to try and see like if I make like these two little like line things look like a projector. I don't know. I thought of something like right there. I don't know if it'll work. Maybe not with the CC or whatever. Uh, so yeah, stop doing that. Yeah, that's, that's a no no. Alright, so basically, what I have there is what I have. And uh, actually, now what I'm going to do is just show you what I do with the background of it. Uh, obviously, you can add so much more stuff. Like, uh, let me show you guys something you can also add. If you were to like click on this little thing right here, go to rounded rectangle tool, uh, you can actually put like a little box in it. So if I change the color to like the background and I, you know, added a, uh, a stroke to it, the same exact color, you want to kind of leave that flow going. And there we go. Press OK. And, uh, you know, you can actually duplicate it like twice. I'm going to show you something cool. And uh, if I just rotated the one in the back with the last one, if I rotated it, make it like, like this, just like that, just like so. And if I did it to the same one over here, 
do something like this. I don't know, it's being weird. But uh, you can see what I kind of did there. I kind of like made like a cool box. And uh, here you can put like your Twitter information or something, or like, you know, other stuff, like your prices for your backgrounds. You know, it's all about being creative. You can add as much stuff as your background as you want. And uh, sometimes you see the little banner on the top, like of like, you know, players from like clans or whatever, see like a little banner on the top, like, like a like a thing. Let me show you. So if I were to make a new layer, again, take my pen tool, and I kind of did this. If I made it like a, if I use control R, I'm going to use a ruler here. If I went like this, and I went like this to this, and then I connected this here, and if I put right click, fill path, and I use like a white or something, you can see this on the top of some people's backgrounds, and then if I got rid of the little eraser, I mean rulers, there we go, and obviously if this signature wasn't so far up, but uh, you know, let me show you without this there, there we go, you can have like a Twitter thing in here, you can see the, it's like a little banner thing on the top, also it's like really just all about being creative, there's not much I can say. Uh, so, uh, yeah, basically, let's get back to the little background thing I was talking about, or the blending of the background in the back. So what I like to do is I, go, I like to go to my 1.5k pack, and I like to use uh, smoke. I'm going to use stock number one smoke. I'm going to drag it in here. I'm going to kind of erase the edges a little bit right away. Change my hardest. There we go. And uh, the thing is all about, you don't want to add too much to the back of it. I'm just going to duplicate this a couple times, like so merging it and I'm just gonna mess around with the opacity you can change around with this if you want but you know I like how this looks and it would kinda like gives a nice nice little feel so you can see already it looks all cool and stuff so I'm just gonna leave it at 15 so stop bugging me and I'm gonna go ahead and go back to the pack and I'm going to add uh, the grunge that I use for my text you don't have to but this is what I want to do it's basically blending it really nice and well but you can use like also that like chain texture thing you can see a lot of people's backgrounds I don't know what it is what it's called I'm just going to continue with this, merge it with control E, lower the opacity a little bit, do something like that, have the nice grunge in the background, or you can add, uh, you can add some more particles. So I'm going to add, oops, excuse me, I'm going to add some particles, here we go, throw that in there, and I'm actually going to put that in front, so I'm going to put it above everything, and uh, mess around with this, duplicate it a couple times, alt drag, or control J, do like that. Add some particles, you can do that too. Uh, you can add some of the favorite stocks in the back or whatever. But uh, now what you want to do is kind of add the, uh, you know, a little bit of a lighting, light like light effect right here. So if I just made the brush a little bit bigger, I clicked above it, I have this nice little brush hit right above it. You can move it up a little bit. You can still see the light there, so if I unclick it, you can obviously there's like light shining on the render or the uh, signature. Uh, lower the opacity, you can be creative with your lighting or whatever. You can actually have, you know, a light bulb if you take a stock of a light bulb or something I'm just trying to you know give you guys ideas and I'm actually gonna do another brush hit on the bottom with a different layer be on my keyboard do like that drag it down lower the opacity and then you have a nice little cool lighting effect and uh, something also cool if you want you can combine everything if you press uh, you click on your first top layer hold like hold shift and click on the background of the color whatever you're using press control J to duplicate control E to like merge and if you go to your filter, your blur, and then go to like radial blur, like so. And if uh, you change your thing to zoom, your your blur method to zoom and the quality to best, leave it at 10. Press OK. You can actually have this cool little like blur effect coming in. It looks like it's like like making the pixels like look at you. I'm not a you know I thought it looks cool. So you can add something like that, and then you can like mess around with the uh, the eraser. If I took the eraser and you know erase some parts of it to make it look all cool and stuff so it's all about you being you know you can use that one uh, other cool thing I talked about in my other tutorial if I just like you know made these little cuts like so if I like, you know make these little boxes what I did was press M on my keyboard or I went to here and press uh, rectangle and I'm holding shift so I can make multiple little cut thingies uh, you can use the glitch effect you know I, sort of, I heard that's coming back like so if I just right click cut and then like you know mess around with this you can see how that works I mean, it's all about being creative guys I mean it's all about you being creative not much to say about that so uh, hopefully guys you enjoy watching and uh, you know you stick to whatever you want to do so if you want to go to 2d background it's actually really fun it's all about how you can you know express yourself in your backgrounds and I think they're more actually cool to watch for speed arts and stuff so you can take my ideas or whatever so hopefully you guys enjoyed and you guys, you know, learned something and uh, maybe you guys want to go on and inspire yourself to make yourself a 2D background for your channel. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys later. So switch you out. Peace.